Hello, my wonderful Pisces collective. Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and North Node. What up, Pisces? I hope you're having a wonderful weekend of solitude. You know how we like it. Let's see what the cards have to say for you. Let's see. I'm getting happy energy, abundance energy, self-relation, revelation energy. You're realizing who you are and enjoying it, welcoming it in. And if the others don't know who you are, don't see you for who you are, let me tell you, they better start watching. Oh, that's going to happen. I got Gemini for you. Intelligence, lover's connection, Pisces. Lover's connection with the Geminis. More Geminis. Lover's connection. Double Gemini. Cancer energy. Imaginative. Very intuitive. Nurturing. Grounded. Sensitive to other people's energies. That's what they don't know about cancers. It's not that they're sensitive. They're sensitive to other people's energies. Capricorn. Ambitious. Ambitious. I get a job situation. Very lucrative. Very lucrative. Sagittarius energy. Optimistic very optimistic ancient energy is what I get ancient energy with the Sagittarius energy double cancer energy so someone you're dealing with or was dealing with loves like a cancer loves like a cancer takes a lot to get them out of the shell but when they're out, baby, they are out, okay? Loves to be nurtured. Loves to be taken care of. And doesn't mind doing it as well. I got J, K, Z, L, and A. So, okay, my wonderful Pisces. That's what I got for that. And let's see what I got for the cards. Putting an end into something. Putting the rest of something. It could be this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with the King of Cups. Putting the rest of something. Putting the end into something. Celebrations with others. Could be that. Celebrations with others. And putting the end into this way of thinking. A way of thinking. Something, a structure that kept them supposedly grounded what else we got king of wands in reverse king of wands in reverse and i feel like somebody is putting an ending to this ego this pride that was so strong within them mm. that's what i get Ooh, in the chariot. Okay, bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. And someone wants to invent. And hold on. Invent, invest, plant new seeds. Plant new seeds. King of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. I feel like this person had a lot of pride and ego when it came to this nine of pentacles someone that was single and abundant focusing on themselves taurus capricorn or virgo energy whoever this nine of pentacles is they were minding their business working on themselves just trying to get more grounded more nurturing beautiful energy beautiful energy a chameleon of sorts very lucky very lucky then I have the Gemini energy.
the lovers, divine lovers connection. Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Someone did not want to see the truth. Somebody did not want to see the truth of their ways, what they rushed off to with the chariot in reverse cancer energy. How unbalanced they were. How they rushed off to the wrong things that kept them unbalanced. Kept them unbalanced. Kept them stuck. Kept them stagnant. Not elevating. Not doing things out of unconditional love. And the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Money, foundation, wealth. Money, foundation, and wealth. So, my wonderful, wonderful Pisces. Let's see what the cards got for you. Tell me about this King of Wands in reverse. Mm. They say this King of Wands in reverse is gay. Gay. Tell me about this gay. Has communication problems. Has communication problems. So, whoever this person is that they were saying was gay, that has communication problems, they had a lot of ego and pride. So someone was talking a lot of bullshit. Tell me about this communication problems. Someone was fearful, unsure, didn't feel safe, greedy, lust for power. Tell me more about this King of Wands in reverse. Divine masculine, mad. So someone wanted to make this divine masculine mad about this lover. They wanted to make this divine masculine mad. Tell me about divine masculine. Wants to reunite. Wants a reunion. This divine masculine wants a reunion. With this lover. Tell me about this reunion. Destitute. Stricken, broke, penniless, or bankrupt. And that's why they're not going towards anything. They're working on their finances. They're working on their finances. Tell me about destitute. Broken, penniless, bankrupt. A man that was money hungry and had cancer in their chart. Tell me about this man that was money hungry. Soul bond energy. Soul bond energy. So, this man who had communication problems. They wanted to make this divine masculine mad. It doesn't matter what he prefers sexually. That's his business, not ours, whatever. But the spirits, the universe wanted us to know. They wanted to make divine masculine mad, feel unsure of himself, unsafe, fearful. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. That this nine of pentacles they were trying to say was karma, bad luck, losing a job. Hmm. Let's just say someone was talking a lot of crap. Because whoever this nine of pentacles was, was the ace of pentacles. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. Someone is obsessing over this nine of pentacles. So if this person was karma... Bad luck. Why are they obsessing over her? Or him? Tell me about him obsessing over you. Mm. A passionate lover that see you as very abundant. Very abundant. They feel like you are good, that you are good friends. They feel like you are good friends. So, they wanted someone to think that this single and abundant person was bad luck. Tell me about this passionate lover. 
divine protection. And that's what someone was lying about. They were lying saying that this person did not have divine protection. This person has divine protection. Someone didn't know that. Tell me about this lovers. They did not know that. Infatuation. Someone was infatuated with this lovers energy. This these people relationship, this connection. And the lovers, they are like night and day. Night and day. I'm getting Taurus, Gemini. I'm also getting Aquarius, Libra. Yeah. There was a lot of emotion between these two. Things were simple with them. Very simple. Someone's, someone was infatuate, infatuated with this connection. Very infatuated. Tell me about infatuation. Hmm. Because someone was a medium. They have mediumship abilities. Tell me about mediumship. And they were a healer too. Queen of Wands. You already know the Queen of Wands is very mystical. You know, very tapped in, spiritual, passionate, fiery, on top of their emotions. An entrepreneur of such. Very gifted. Tell me about the Sagittarius energy. Knight of Cups. They were not taking no offers when it came to love. They did not trust the offers when it came to love. Tell me about, and that's the Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They didn't trust this offer of love. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Because someone has a lot of blockages. Lots of blockages. Tell me about the blockages. Trauma bonding. The blockages is trauma bonding with people who don't deserve their energy. Trauma bonding. Tell me about this trauma bonding. Right. So this Knight of Cups was trauma bonding with people who didn't deserve their energy. And that's why they have a lot of blockages. Because they were trauma bonding. Spirit said, right on, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Confirmation from the spirits. Tell me about the ace of swords in reverse. What truth they didn't want to know. What truth didn't they want to know? That someone's kid's son or daughter was happy, that is happy. That they kids that kids were happy. Somebody wasn't telling the truth about that. <laughs> Tell me about more about this truth that wasn't being revealed. That someone was confused up in the head. Someone was saying that someone was confused. Eight of Swords energy. They that they were um Riddled with anxiety. Had mental problems. That's what they were saying. That they had mental problems. So they had to put things to an end. Twice. <laughs> Tell me about the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, or Virgo. But this person was very happy. That's what they didn't tell. That this person was very happy. A ball of sunshine. Always smiling. Always sunny. Lucky. Glowing. Cheerful. Joyful. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords that wasn't spoken. Oh, that there was a promiscuous Queen of Cups that was toxic and money hungry. So either someone was lying, say that, saying that this person was promiscuous, money hungry, and toxic. Or there was a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, who was a promiscuous Queen of Cups that was toxic and money hungry. Telling lies. Telling lies. Yep. 
Tell me about this Queen of Cups that was toxic and money hungry. Betrayal. They was just saying that to betray somebody. That was it. It was betrayal. Tell me about the chariot in reverse. Ooh. Judgment. The judgment was that someone couldn't go towards someone else. Someone couldn't go towards someone else unless they had a spiritual awakening. Unless they had a spiritual awakening. And you are right. Unless they had a spiritual awakening. They can't go in someone else's direction. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. A chaser. So someone was chasing money. Someone was chasing money. Someone was chasing money. Tell me about this chaser. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Someone was not balanced. Someone was not balanced with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Not balanced. Too many things on their plate. Whenever you chase anything, it's running from you. Never chase. Always a trap. If it's for you, it will flow to you. Because your energy is calling to it. Not because you're chasing it. It loves you. It follows you. Tell me about the two of pentacles in reverse. Nine of cups. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. So someone was out of balance because of this nine of cups. Something that they thought was wish fulfillment. Something that they thought was wish fulfillment is what kept them out of balance. That makes no sense. So, you can tell that someone's mental was not where it needed to be. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Mmm. Whatever this nine of cups is, is out in the cold. Five of pentacles. Whatever this wish fulfillment was, was not wish fulfillment. It left somebody out in the cold. And holding on to their money. Money is, is affected because of it. Can't express their, their or speak. Have a problem with communicating. Their throat chakra is blocked. Their throat chakra is blocked. So whatever somebody thought was wish fulfillment that kept them unbalanced, that they felt like what they were chasing, was not wish fulfillment at all. It was a lie. What else, Spirit? Tell me more. Death card. Someone was unsure about putting an ending to this wish fulfillment. Scorpio energy. And it came out sideways. Un <clears throat> My throat. <clears throat> <clears throat> it came out in an undecided energy. Like someone was not sure if they should have put the situation to an end. Tell me about this death card, Scorpio energy. I hate you. So they hated the fact that someone knew too much. They hated the fact that someone knew too much. Tell me more. And that somebody was wealthy, prosperous, deep pockets, good stock, money, a passionate lover, Someone was obsessing about them. And this person had divine protection. And guess what? They were straight heterosexual. Straight heterosexual. Tell me more, spirit. Someone is Facebook stalking. 
Someone is Facebook stalking. What's new? I got a jealous male ex-lover. What else, spirit? Someone has psychic abilities. And they knew something was a red flag. Their psychic abilities said that this could have been the Scorpio energy was a red flag. And someone is sorrowful, inadequate, unhappy, gloomy, sad, and miserable. Because they couldn't speak the truth. Because they felt out in the cold. And they finances suffer because of it. What else, spirit? A promiscuous queen of swords, toxic and money hungry. It's fearful, unsure, lust for power. Root chakra is blocked. And they were pretending to have a dark night of, a, of the soul. Tell me about promiscuous. Mm. Guilty. They were guilty. And whoever this death card, Scorpio energy, they were guilty too. They was guilty of not knowing how to end a situation, how to get out of it. What else, spirit? Ace of Pentacles. Clarifying. Double Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Something was a lucrative opportunity. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Someone seen something as, as a lucrative opportunity. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. And they were unsure about it. They were unsure about this Ace of Pentacles. They were unsure if they should invest financially with this Ace of Pentacles. I felt like they felt like they was going to be sad because of it. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Because someone had narcissistic tendencies. Taurus energy. Pisces energy. Pisces, this is your reading. Tell me about this Taurus energy. Lovers. So whoever this Taurus was, they were in the lovers connection. Divine connection. Lovers energy. Tell me about this Pisces. Someone's soulmate in this lovers connection. And someone was gravitating to this ace of pinnacles because they wanted a victory. But they were not sure if they was going to have a victory with the Leo card. They weren't sure of this victory. They were not sure of this victory. Three of wands. Someone wanted their ships to come in. But they didn't just want their ships to come in. They wanted it emotionally too. They wanted to be happy and grounded with this wherever they went. They was ready to leave everything behind and start fresh. They were ready to travel to do it too. Tell me about the lovers. They were ready to travel to do it. But guess what? High Priestess showed up and said, hold on, buddy, before you get going, let me tell you what I have for you. I don't think this is a wise decision. I think you should stop and go within and figure it out and don't make any rash decisions. And I feel like someone listened. Pisces, this could have been someone's soulmate, someone's guardian angel. And someone was a false twin flame and they know it. And there was also a real twin flame relationship here. And someone respected somebody's. And there was luck 
money, inheritance with these twin flames. And somebody self-sabotaged themselves with the five of swords. You know, let's just say we all have to learn from our past. Otherwise, it will haunt you until you do. And some people don't make it out alive. Divine protection at the bottom of the deck, higher power. It always catches up with you. Chaos and conflict. Chaos and conflict. Somebody didn't understand that the peace they didn't have, it was stopping them from a new life. Stopping them from having a new life. And sometimes they felt like peace was chaos and conflict. Someone thought that that peace brought them, that chaos and conflict brought them peace. It did not. They needed to learn to do things by the book. They needed to learn how to do things by the book. Chaos and conflict coming to the edge. So whatever chaos and conflict this was, it brought somebody to the edge so they can see their life. See what they were running from. And whatever they were running from almost took them over the edge. Almost put them over the edge. Whatever the situation was, it wasn't real love. And it was time to release it. Time for them to see themselves for who they are. And see who had their best interests at heart. Soulmate energy. Someone needed to see the soulmate for who they were. Message in a bottle. Communication. Communication being spoken to this yang energy. So they can find their own divine light, which we all have inside. What else we got? What else? Abundance. Whatever the situation is, Pisces know, High Priestess know, soulmate is going to lead to abundance. And someone needs to trust the process. It is what it is, baby. Don't let it stop you. It's the process. Trust. You know. Learn from your past. It will save you in the present and shape your future. So, let's see what else we got for my wonderful Pisces. I get new cycles. Wisdom. Moving towards better situations and structures. Okay. If you know like I know. You get high like every day. Why do I hear that song? Someone is just high on life right now. Trying to enjoy it. All you need is to believe in yourself. Life is tough, but so are you. Life is tough, but so are you. So what are you worrying about? What can't you do? Because last time I checked, you can do anything. You can do anything. What else we got? Cave and retreat. Moon energy, timing. Everything is in divine timing. Whatever this cave is, is letting you know solitude is at hand. It's time to retreat, go within. 
Find your own comfort in your own light within. That's what that's saying. And the winter time is the best time to do it. Hibernate for a while. Hibernate. So let's see what the book says. Sacral chakra. Retreat. Gestation. Withdrawal. Caves and caverns are symbolic of the womb. Cleansing. Your life source. Your womb. Masculine or feminine. Of the goddesses and goddess. Masculine or feminine. You know we all possess possess masculine and feminine energy so what it's saying is use your feminine energy at this time release and let go of those wounds and the interest to the underworld they are places of retreat into the mother's embrace in order to find answers solutions or rest associated with bear medicine caves offer the right environment for recuperation and shelter during times of endurance when you have a needs for connection or poor weather conditions cave appearing in a reading indicates that this is a time of no action and suggests a period of withdrawal from active participation this is a season for preparation for gestation for rest Treasures are there to be found if you take the time to go within and search for them. With slow and steady application, you can achieve what you have set out to do. Potentials and possibilities forming within you. Give them the time that they need to emerge strong and vibrant, ready for ex expression in your life. Rebirth is on its way. Rest, retreat, restore your energy. Summertime is going to be abundant for you. It's going to be everything that you imagine it to be. It is going to be like a symphony that was never played, but always wanted to be heard and felt. So, my wonderful Pisces, abundance for you, changing regenerating, restore, wisdom, blessings, and more. Like and subscribe, baby. Have a good one.